Hey guys, my name is Isabella and welcome to my channel. Before we get into today's video, I just want to remind everyone about a couple of things. First, my Patreon, where for $3 a month you can get four extra ASMR videos each and every month. You will also gain access to all of the previous month's videos as well. I also have an OnlyFans page, so if you think that might be something you're interested in, you can use the link down below to sign up for that. Also down below you'll find my Instagram and Wizio page information. So my Wizio is where I make all of my custom content, so pretty much those are all the links listed down below. And lastly, just remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. But now let's get into today's video. Hey, when you're done with that exam, bring it up to the front of the room and don't leave without giving me a moment alone with you, okay? I just need to talk to you about a couple things, okay? Just, no, you won't get in trouble. Yep, I will let your next period teacher know that you're going to be staying with me for a bit and I'll write you a late slip. Nope, you can finish your exam. Just make sure when you come handed in that you don't walk out of the room. We're gonna wait for the rest of the class to exit and once we're alone, I'll just have a word with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, finish your exam. Remember, eyes on your own paper, okay? I noticed them wandering a bit earlier Hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. No talking while taking the test. Eyes on your own paper. Thank you. Billy, are you done? Drop it off on my desk and you're free to leave. Yep. Have a great next period. Okay, bye. <sighs> okay, you're done? Thank you. Okay, so I just have one more student. Bye. Bye, Susan. Bye. Mm hmm. Yep, see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, I'm just going to close the door and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. So, several things I want to talk to you about. So, first, what's going on with homework? Um, I was looking through my grade book and was flipping through and I don't have a, I don't know how I missed it, I don't have a single grade for you for any of this week's homework or last week's homework. And I only have one assignment from the week before. So what's what's going on? Is there a problem at home? Are you not understanding the material? What is, what's up? No, you most certainly didn't hand it in. I would, I'd have it here. I, everyone slides it in, slides it in the box at the beginning of class. So everyone else's assignments have been accounted for. Uh, anyone's assignment who's been late or there have been any problems has has met with me one-on-one -on -one, um, and contacted me regarding the situation. But with you, I'm missing a lot of work from you, okay? And this is not okay. I can't give you a passing grade. I, I can't look the other way. So you're going to need to give me a legitimate reason why these assignments are not being completed or I'm going to have to report it to the principal's office and they'll take disciplinary action and you'll have to take it from there with them, okay? Now, if you come to me one-on-one, -on -one, I want to help you. I want you to succeed, but if you are not being upfront and honest with me, there's nothing I can do for you. Okay. 
Okay, the next thing I want to talk to you about, um, wandering eyes during exams. There were quite a few times I had to tell you to keep your eyes on your own paper. Well, are you looking around the room? Did you not study enough? What, what's, what's going on with that? Because you know there is a no tolerance cheating policy at the school. We catch you cheating, you're out. You don't get a one, two, three strikes. Caught once, you're done. I want to believe you, but, you know, it's, it's hard to believe you when it feels like you were looking at your classmate's paper to the left of you, your classmate's paper to the right of you, trying to peek over the shoulder in front of you, you know, stretching your back, looking at the paper behind you. I don't know. So if I give you a verbal exam right now, you'll pass it? No. Different questions than what was on the exam, but similar enough that you should know the answers if you studied and came prepared. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, between not handing in your assignments and potentially cheating on the tests, I'm, I'm starting to wonder if we have a serious problem here. You know, I've never, I've never had to fail a student before for cheating. I mean, granted, I've only been teaching here for a year and a half. Um, but even then, I was surprised that I haven't faced this issue yet. But they're the first time for everything. And if, if we have a cheating situation here, I'm, I'm not going to look the other way. I am going to bring it to the principal's attention and let her deal with it as she sees fit, okay? So, this is what I'm going to propose. This test you took today is not going to count. I'm throwing it away. And after school, tomorrow, you're going to come into my room. You're going to take the exam, a new one, but a new one that is not more difficult or easier than today's exam, extremely similar. If you studied and you felt prepared today, I promise you you'll be prepared tomorrow. You're going to come into the room, you're going to take that exam alone after class. Just me, no one else. You can look around the room all you want, there'll be no answers in view. As far as those assignments, I'm going to give you a week to come up with them, okay? They're all listed on Blackboard online. You can find them in the syllabus. If you are having trouble with the concepts, just come to me, tell me, I can set you up with a tutor for the remainder of the year. But, it's best to be honest because if that is the situation, you're going to keep facing this problem. We have so many great tutors at the school. I can work with you one-on-one -on -one after class. This is not the type of thing that you want to deny. But if you're just not finishing them because if you think that your time is better spent elsewhere, you're mistaken. You may feel right now like this class is not going to help you in the future, it's a waste of your time, you want to hang out with your friends, you have cool things to do, you're involved in extracurricular activities. If you're failing, if you fail this class, those extracurricular activities go out the window and you will be in a lot of trouble. So, you know, meeting with a tutor one hour a week, once, twice a week, doesn't sound that bad anymore, does it? Yeah, so let's try to prioritize our future, okay? Let's, let's not dismiss homework assignments. Let's start handing them in on time. This is my one warning to you. 
I will give you one pass between you and me to get those assignments in in one week's time. As far as the exam, you take that exam, I will be comparing it with today's exam. If you do significantly worse, that to me will say you may have cheated today or definitely cheated today. If you score, I will be grading this exam from today. If you got a 95 on today's exam, you get a 65 tomorrow. It's a huge red flag and I will have to bring it to the principal's attention. So if I were you, I would go home and study and come tomorrow prepared for class, okay? Do you have anything to say? Is this all making sense? Do you think I'm being unreasonable? Mm-hmm. Okay. You're, you're a bright, a bright kid, you know? I, I'm very impressed a lot of times when you volunteer in class, you have very insightful things to say, you read the material, and you have a very interesting grasp on it. So don't, don't hurt yourself because you can do whatever you want. You know, whatever you want to go to college for, just don't let the reason that you can't, you know, reach your goals and do something really cool with your life be because you didn't feel like studying for one or two exams, Ugh, you didn't want to do that homework assignment that would have taken you 30 minutes, you'd rather go home and play video games, like, no. That, in the, the grand scheme of things, that is such, such a waste. I know it's hard right now to picture your future and see past just sitting in this class every day, but it's gonna happen, and when you're older, you're gonna look back and regret it if you know that the reason that you didn't get to do what you truly wanted in life was because you didn't spend an hour studying. You didn't do those homework assignments that would have taken you 20 to 30 minutes. And now you have to spend 30, 40, 50 years doing something you don't like and wishing you were doing something else, okay? It's not worth it, so go home and study Come back tomorrow, prepared. I will meet you after the last bell in this room, okay? There'll be no reviewing. I'll be taking all your notes. Make sure you don't have anything written on your palm, on your hand, nothing, okay? No little crumpled up pieces of paper. Yeah, so we good? Okay. Great, great. I, I'm so glad. I 100% agree. And yeah, do you want me to write that note for you? Okay, what is, who are you, see next period? Okay, what room is that? Okay, we're in room. I am Miss. And you are, let's see, 15 minutes late. So don't, don't like dilly-dally in the hall getting your books for next period because you know this note um, doesn't allow you to be late longer than the time listed. So just try to get uh, to class as quickly as possible. If you have to go to the bathroom, that's fine, but... Um, I'm writing here that you are 15 minutes later to class than you should be, so that'll give you enough time to, because you're really only 10 minutes late, give you enough time to like go to the bathroom or go to your locker quickly, but really nothing more than that. So just, just be careful, get to class, um, study hard, and I will see you tomorrow for class in this room, and then again after class. Do you have any questions for me at all before I let you leave? Anything. Anything you can possibly think of. Now is the time to tell me, ask me, run it past me. 
Just let me know, okay? Okay, okay. If you say you're all set, I'm gonna take your word for it and I'm gonna let you go to class, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Uh-huh, have a great rest of your day. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. And don't forget, don't forget your backpack. Don't forget, yeah, don't forget anything, okay? Okay. See you tomorrow. Thank you.